So you should have drawing panel and lab four objects inside your package called lab four objects inside your project called lab four objects. Make sure you put your name here and make sure your package is the first line of code, both in the drawing panel right there, lab four objects and inside lab four objects.java. All right, once you have that, you're gonna see that there should be an error here and there's a similar error way down near the bottom because it doesn't know what piece is. All right, so we're gonna create a class called piece. There's a few ways to do it. One of them is you can right click on the package here and go new Java class. Piece, capital P and the, these are all okay options. It will end up in the same, by default, in the same package. Hit finish. All right, so here's a class called piece. All right. And now we've created a ton of errors. We went from two errors to, I don't know, 40. But that's okay. Don't worry about that right now. This class piece right here, really not much going on in it. I'm going to show you a different way to create it. So again, all I did to create this, right click on the package, go new Java class, type in the name. All right, if you wanna get rid of it, right click and delete. Now, sometimes you wanna safely delete, sometimes not. I'm just gonna unsafely delete and just hit okay. That class will disappear and I'll be back to having that same error. That error says right here, cannot find symbol class piece. It doesn't know what piece is. There's a second way to create this class. If you click over here, left click. Now I'm gonna create class piece in package lab four objects. That's the one we want. The second one will create a class piece, but if you read this carefully in lab four objects dot lab four objects, that second lab four objects means it'll be created inside this file that we're looking at. I wanna create it in its own file because I don't want this file to be uh, I don't know, 600, 700 lines long. So I'm going with the first option. Look at that, created a class right here, piece.java. And it's actually, I think the exact same as it would have been the other way around. All right, so now we have this class created, except we have tons of errors. All right, so what we're gonna do is do a multi-line comment here, which, the way you do that is slash star, and then when you want to end it is star slash. Except I don't want to just comment this out, I want to comment out basically the rest of the public static void main. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to get to the end of public static void main, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm looking at the alignment of the text here. Scroll, scroll, oop, right there, all right. So, oh, it looks like I already created some block comments here, that's fine. All right, so I want to, it starts with star slash and ends with slash star. And if I move this up, you'll see that whatever I move it past, it becomes commented because the comment again starts here and ends here. It's called a multi-line comment. And so you can comment out a huge amount of this with only these right here. So what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna cut it or delete it. I can type it again. I'm gonna put it up near the top where we were looking before, basically right above the first error. This, I'm gonna put it right here actually, slash star. So now everything from here to the other slash stars commented out. Uh, we do have a bunch more errors. Good news is they're all inside test piece. So what I'm gonna do is the exact same thing So I'm gonna go slash star. Well, let's do it inside the method. So I'm gonna just get rid of, so we still have the method, but it won't do anything. And it goes to be very careful. It's not the erase panel and the create drawing panel. Star slash, all right. So just so you know, test piece won't do anything now, but that's okay because we commented out almost everything. All the code we have now, we're gonna create a new piece, then we're gonna print it out. Here we go, we got no more errors now. 
Okay, so what in the world are we looking at? So here's the P colon space I have highlighted here. Now this is actually how P prints itself. There's an implicit method called toString. So it's lowercase t, capital S, to string, and this is supposed to return a string. By default, every class has a to string method, but a lot of them are not helpful. So what this tells us right here is, this is a package name, that's the class name. What in the world is this? This is just some memory location that we really don't need to care about. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is make a to string method. Every class has one by default, but we need one that's useful. So we're gonna go over to piece.java. So this is gonna return a string. Take no arguments. Uh, so we're just gonna return We'll just return that string right there. Oh, this does need to be public to string. All right, I think that's what the uh, warning was about, that error was about before. It's that this needs to be, you cannot override to string uh, because it's weaker access because the original was public. So anyways, your to string has to be public. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to lab four objects and we're gonna go and run this and you're gonna see that instead of printing this out, it's gonna print out something different. And there we go, so it prints out 1010. All right, you have the sample output. So we're gonna take a look at that next and see how we're gonna modify uh, to string and piece so that it looks more like the sample output.